Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I think I got all the hiccups out of my system. The game, maybe not, but I do. I'm doing great. So, hopefully, you're all doing great. You can't play Mario Galaxy 2 and not feel great. It's kind of illegal, so I get it. So, here we go. The Prankster Comet for Super Mar Super Massive Galaxy. The Big Wiggler Speedrun. I'm sure you fellas out there can understand what this means. Sometimes you just gotta speed it up when you're when you got your big wiggler. I totally understand. It's not your fault, you can't control it. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna get quick. I don't remember if this one's a cosmic clone race either or what. It might be. Oops. That's a big old Goomba. So it's been a little bit since I played this. Usually I record once per sesh. I think I mentioned that one time in a previous recording is that I try not to record too much at the same time. One, because it burns me out. Two, because I don't have time, usually, with my busy adulthood. And three, because I feel like it kind of causes the content to potentially get kind of stale. If you're not having the best recording day, it might not uh, pan out too well, and then you've got a few sashes which are not as cash as you would like them to be. So that is something I completely understand. So for me, it's usually a... Oops, I just missed. That's great. For somebody who's trying to go fast, I'm not doing so great. Oof. That's going to be a miss. Oh, no, I got him. I got him. You guys saw it. Okay. So... I don't know how much more of this level is left. Oh, it's just, okay. So it's just this little area. But you gotta go all the way to the other side. You gotta hit that switch. I'm kinda running low on time here. And like I said, I don't pre-play any of this, so... I gotta get quick. Look at me. You'll catch me at something DGDQ. You'll catch me there. So no, you won't. I mean, I would go probably to spectate. I think that'd be fun. But to compete? Oh, boy. I don't know where this is going. I actually remember seeing recently that, you know, that speedrunning group, the uh, GDQs. Oops. <laughs> oh, it saved me. The uh, GDQs. That they're having their first in person event since. Uh, the world fell apart, which I think is really interesting and good for them. It's nice to have kind of a semblance of normalcy, getting back to the old, the old world. Oh boy. Oh, no. I bet you I can do it. Can I do it? Come on, Mario. Oh. <laughs> That's what I get for dilly-dallying. That's my punishment. That was good though. Did you see that? Of course you did. I say that like you're not watching this video. Don't look away. Don't you dare close your eyes. All that kind of jazz. This is what I get for trying to do kind of fancy flips, but also I fell. So that would probably be a big reason why I also was not successful, but that's okay. We're right back at it. And this is another chance to get more Sturbit. Ow, excuse you. To more Starbits, we have 100 now. One thing that is very nice about this galaxy is that they are plentiful. And I love them. And there's also plenty of lives. As you notice, my life counter is more than four, so I was able to salvage my previous experience, which is nice. Oh boy. Nope, that's not the button I meant to hit. That's okay, we're gonna keep at it. Had I not missed my first trying to screw these Goombas, I would have been, not Goombas, these Koopas. Koopas! I would have been fine. It was my fault. I mean, it's always my fault. I'm the one playing this game. I don't know why I said that. Um, it was actually the RNG in the calculations, and I didn't do the manip right. We'll say that. Alright, so. This is actually a time when using the drill is useful. There's a ton of Starbits in this big old pipe. Sometimes you just gotta explore a nice pipe to get some candy. You gotta do it. 
Ooh, I was not looking there. I was trying to grab the star bits, was not paying attention to where I was going. It was very dangerous. All right. So we're doing fine. Guys, it's fine. Don't panic. We've still got a minute. And as you saw, we made up for lost time. One of my mantras. You just gotta do your best with what you got. Okay, here we go. I think we have like 25 more seconds than we did last time. So, this is totally doable. There's just that little spot that you can long jump and kind of sneak past these guys. You can just kind of sneak right past it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta... Oof. Oh, that was rude. It's right next to you. You could have moved. There it is. Ten seconds. Plenty of time to climb this long shaft. For the reward at the tip. Boom. Got him. Excellent work, everybody. That's a quality performance. I really like that they gave all the Wigglers are wearing boots on their shoes. It's gotta be expensive, though. Hopefully they get a discount. Okay, so that's the big Wiggler speedrun in a galaxy complete. Yummy, yummy star bits. I think this is just gonna probably be another one of those episodes that's got a lot of prankster comets. The prankster roundup. We gotta wrangle them prankster comets. I better be careful. I'm gonna wind up calling it that. Okay. Sometimes I think of the name of the episode while I'm making it. Most of the time I don't, but sometimes it just makes sense. Or you see something you're like, that's gonna make a really good thumbnail. The bullberry, oh no. Ooh. I've got a feeling there's gonna be exactly a hundred in this one and that's gonna make me a, an angry demon. Here we go. Ah, oh, those pretzels look good though. Yes. Unsalted, which is the way I like it. This is collect- all right, and we're gonna use Luigi too. You know what, why not just punish ourselves here on this beautiful day? It is a beautiful yeah. day. You get a chance, go outside, touch some grass. It helps. I mean that more wisdom. Okay, here we go. So once again, the bullberry. The mechanic we all know and love. I don't know if Yoshi can slurp these boys. I don't think so. And it does appear that, based on what the game started me with saying, that you have to get all of them. So we will do that. Oh boy. Where's the next one? Ah! <laughs> that was kind of tricky. I was like, where is it? Okay. It runs out very fast, which is unfortunate. Oh. This is getting the, uh... This is definitely getting the Midwest out of me real fast. Here we go. Lots of oops and... Sneaking right past you. At least the coins don't disappear. Like, if the coins only appeared with the Bullberry, that would be turbo rude, and I would probably have to write a letter to their manager. Let them know how I feel. Probably would demand a coupon, maybe a discount. Compensate my meal, please. Alright, so we're doing fine. This is less bad than I was expecting it to be. But then again, in life, sometimes you have to go into a situation as pessimistic as possible, because then when it's better, it's so rewarding, right? Okay, here we go. We're on the home stretch here. Ooh, of this sweet treat. Bullberry experience. Oof. There have been moments, though, where I have managed to fail right at the end, but thankfully not today. That delicious stack of pancakes is taunting me. Let's just get out of here, Luigi. Thanks for your help, buddy. You are all stars. Everybody watching this video, you're all stars. Superstars, in fact. I'll go one step further in the superlative chain. That is... Another galaxy complete? Ooh, there's a ghost there. And once again, Luigi has to tell us every time. It's like when you're playing Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess and you open up a chest and it's a rupee and it's gotta tell you every time. It just got, it just wants you to know. There's a, what does that mean there's a ghost here? I don't know. 
We'll come back to it. I don't want to do two of those in a row. It's time for flips, Phil. I feel like this is probably going to be a cosmic clone experience, maybe? Time to find out what's on the docket. It's the purple. Purple coin spins. Oh my gosh. Purple coins and speed. Oh, this looks horrible. Oh no. What have I done? Oh, I'm going to hate this. Hopefully it just sends you right into it. Alright, you got two and a half minutes. And you have to deal with the... Oh man, this sucks. Oh no, I need the drill power up too. Give it to me. Yeah, you gotta... Not mess that one up right away. Or at least it gives us another chance to get the other ones. I don't know... Hopefully there's more than a hundo in this one. If there's not, it's gonna make me real sad. Ugh. Yeah, this, uh... This is not my favorite. Could be worse, I suppose. I'm always trying to look on the bright side. That's not true. I'm always trying to tell myself that I should look on the bright side. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I feel like there probably is exactly 100 in this one. Which will make this extra fun. But I think I'm doing decently so far. Pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the, the gravity is going to be a thing in the buns here. Okay, so... A little bit of work left to do here. I don't know how many other areas I've left. I know that I haven't touched anything on the on the far side. Okay, I've gotten everything there. I've got a boogie on over to the far side. The eastern quadrant. Yeah. Okay. If you could hurry up, game, please. Oh no. Oh, is that all you get? Oh, you can't go to there from that side. It's wasted a ton of time. That was my mistake. I still think I can make it. I really don't want to have to do this twice. Oops. The game just has pity on me. It just drops me onto the power up. It's like, there you go, you dummy. Just drop me straight down. There we go. It's coming in hot. All right, here we go. There's the final section over there with the... Oh, boy, I'm not getting to this. There's no way. Zero chance. We're doing this one again. Oh, boy. That's what I get for, for goofing. It would have been... Oh, I got buried alive. Whoops. That's too bad. Okay. Well, at least it starts you from that animation. Let's try to do a little better. Let's use some of our speed running strats that we learned from... Uh, the speed running event that we posted. No, that didn't happen. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it, the gravity of this one is obviously like the gimmick. It's very awkward. Meant to be, just like all of us, right? We are how we are, viewers. Ah. Get up there, Mario. All right, I guess we're going back this way. I could ask you to kindly... Oh, you can kill those things. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Oop. That's the second time I ran into that guy. It's a lot easier to grab the coins when you don't have to deal with... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die before I finish this. It's a lot easier to grab the coins so you don't have to have the drill power up. It kind of inhibits you a little bit. But thankfully we were able to grab another life because we were running low. Whew. And you get to enjoy that nice... that nice bing bong the rest of the time. Oh, did you see that? That was a pretty sweet maneuver, huh? You're welcome for that. I think this one just drops me back down. Okay. Yeah, this is going a lot better. I don't really have a path in mind, but at the very least, I know where I'm sort of going. You have to make it around. This is probably, like, horribly mapped out. 
not the way that you really want to go, but that's the way I do it. Making sure there's nothing I've left behind. No purple coins left behind. That's the rule. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. No. Oh, that was close. Okay, so I probably didn't need to do half of these maneuvers here, but I'm gonna do it. Hopefully this will let me jump back into the other one. Oh, it wasn't to say. Don't lock me in here. Oh boy. No. Please. No, it's just one. Oh. It's like, please don't make me do this again. Ooh. By the skin of my teeth. I was like, how do I get out of here? Just a perpetual loop of... Now you have to... <laughs> I have to watch as I struggle to get back to the center. What a what a great mechanic to end the level, huh? Just land on it, please. Thank you. Okay. And that could have been way worse and way better. I'm always open to improvement. Here at D-Mike Industries, we know that success is a spectrum. And some of us are on the spectrum. Okay. Ooh. Only got... Let's say I only got three star bits. That's pretty bad. That is not ideal. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We haven't really opened up anything new in a while. We could do a boss fight. Huh? I mean, we'll obviously come back and finish everything, but... Let's, uh, let's check out Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. As if we haven't had a situation with enough gravity as it is today. Go and explore. We're gonna break into Bowser's castle. Seems kind of rude. The game is not excited about it. Can these little pick me up. The game forgot to take its vitamins today. But once again, some Mario 64 yes. Bowser level music. Ooh, it just gets me. Do you get me, viewers? Does it get you? Do you understand? Some fire ropes here, some potabos. I think that's the name of those things. Some KMX. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Absolutely not chill. Oh. That actually kind of worked out for me in like a weird. Okay, maybe not. Spoke too soon. This is a little chaotic. I always love when they come back and. Get out of here. When we come back and cover their own music. Koji Kondo probably did the music for this one. He's kind of the dude. Who did it? I can't forget to get that comet medal. It's very important. Whew. This game's making me feel a little hot under the collar. You know what I'm saying? What's nice is like in these levels it's really tempting to just do... This is messing my brain up. To do big jumps all the time, but sometimes, especially with these potabos, all up in your business. You gotta do little ones, little hops. Whoa! Talk about being a hot head. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely giving my brain the willies. Oh, this is water. <laughs> it's like, how is there cheap cheap in there? All right. I was about to ask why the coins, and then I gave you an immediate data point. You're welcome. Okay. I like that the Cheap Cheeps are just endlessly swimming in a perpetual circle of futility. That's life, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We're gonna continue on. Ooh, we got some Womps in here, too. Nice. Another life if you need it. The game's pretty generous about lives. You should run out anytime soon, I would say. Some Goombers? Dragons? Ooh, okay. He's got the, uh... He's got the high ground. He didn't want me to take it from him. I've got a feeling that the comet of this one is probably going to be brutal, if I had to guess. This looks already kind of tough. And I'm just doing it cash, so... What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, am I going the wrong way? <laughs> that could be it. Game's like, run the other way, stupid. Okay, here we go. Why can't I get over this big wall? 
Alright. Another one of these. A refill. Just in case. So it's the Luma's doing this. The Luma's want us to break their balls. Okay. Oop. That's not how you ground pound. That's not how you pound their balls. Oops. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. So Bowser creates these. I guess the Luma's can also create them. Interesting. Maybe they're part of Bowser. <gasps> the conspiracy. It's like when you find out that the main character is actually like the child of the villain, you're like, oh, I never would have guessed. They do that a couple of times in like Fire Emblem. I, I remember that. That's a big trope that they like to do. A little sneaky sneaky. Alright. Probably another same fight as before. We shrank him down last time though, so... That's very cute. Show him what you're working with, Luma. Oh, he's big again. Would any of you have guessed? Smooshin' time! Mario is unfazed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to do the exact same fight as we did, uh, I think like a world ago, or two worlds ago, here's your chance. It's essentially identical. There's a little bit of an update in the kind of shockwave thing here. That's about it. I think that's the only real difference. But once again, you're going to be busting balls. You have to avoid the shockwaves this time around. That's the difference. So hopefully that's fun for everybody. Same rinse and repeat, though. You jump up onto it. You ground pound it. You move along. You move along, move along, like I know you would. I mean, it looks really good. I just wish that the fight was a little bit more... Uh, a little more less samey. Because this... Oops. No. No, we missed the cycle. All because I ran into the gosh dang shockwave. Oh, I'm never going to hit my PB at this rate. This does get a little chaotic. I think that probably in like the final battle of this game, whenever that happens, that it's going to be probably like four or five little shockwaves coming at you. Coming hot. Alright, here we go. Much better. Boop. Hit him right in the head that time. Now we're going to see him get angry. Rawr. You won't like me when I'm angry. Is there anybody that says that in like... That's a very, like, tropey phrase for people that probably have anger management issues. You won't like me when I'm angry. Is there anybody that's like, yeah, I do. You know what? That gets me. I really I really enjoy when you when you have fury that you can't control. Has that ever been a thing? All right. I think we should probably only need to do... That was number three. So there's the classic Nintendo rule of fourths. We have to follow. Let's just slide between Bowser's balls here. Here we go. If you could go ahead and punch the uh, planetoid we're on, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. I think four does it usually. It does. Yeah, it's just a little sad that they kind of reused this. I mean, this is a game from 2010. They're reusing boss fights. Nintendo? How dare you. We can't stop him, but we can Groundhog Day our way through multiple Bowser fights. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have any, like, rhyme or reason to when I do stars, the way I do them. I'm just trying to mix them up enough that you don't feel like it's too samey. I did that in the last Let's Play, and I thought it was kind of boring, so I'm just changing it up for you guys. See, I'm learning. Always learning to be my industries. Here we go. Time to ride on that big old star, Sheriff Mario. That's right. Feeling pretty grand right now. We're doing it. That's four worlds worth of galaxies unlocked. Soon to be a fifth. We're just plowing through this game. We just love we just love getting plowed. Okay. So a little bit over halfway. 
so many coins that we're not going to use. I don't really know if there is anything that is those are used for. Lubba with the intent to be sort of a hype man. And the animation you've only seen once before. It's going to happen for the first time right now. Here we go. Enjoy this, everybody. It's the only time you're going to see it in the game. Face it. It's as good as it gets as we slide into the Celestial Avocado. There's World 5. I can already see some of these galaxies that I'm very familiar with that are going to probably give me a pain in the buns. The enemy's home base. Ooh. We're going to catch him at home. Maybe they'll have snacks. Maybe, Lubba. Maybe they will have snacks. But that'll have to happen next time. Because for now, we're going to end the episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.